I am Mike Hogue of Transformative Adventures and now co-author of this amazing book, Growing Free. There it is, Growing Free. Financially resilient and economically empowered. It's the book about building the life of your dreams without losing your soul or destroying the planet. And today I'd like to answer a question from someone at the last First Church of Permaculture meeting, which is the fancy name of the Transformative Adventures uh, podcast. And the question was, do we have suggestions for ideas of right livelihood or in careers around people care? One of the Permaculture Three Ethics. Now, I did a longer video that walks you through just a few of the tools, Thistle, uh, one of the tools in our book, for designing the life of your dreams and making it actually work. And this is really a tool for people who want to do stuff that isn't traditionally valued by society, right? So if you want to dedicate your life and spend your life doing things that really care for people, and you don't think that that's something that our capitalist economy is going to uh, value and pay you to do, then you have to be clever about how you're going to do it. But it doesn't mean we can't do it. We just have to be clever about how we design and transform our lives so that we can meet that goal. So uh, watch that longer video if you're interested in that. I want to just break down a few examples of, uh, of uh, really one tool from our book that I talked about in that video, which is transformative investments. One of the things we really make the point of in our book is that we shouldn't just focus on jobs and careers and livelihoods. And I talk about why in that other video. But instead, we really need to think holistically about the whole design and designing a financial life that will be really resilient to shocks and empower us to do the things that we want to do and live the way we want to live. One of the keys to that is investing. Now, they used to, used to be this old money saying that really has a lot of truth to it, which is that the poor seek jobs, the middle class look for careers, and the wealthy seek investments. Now, a lot of times those investments are in horrible exploitive things, but we can invest our time, our energy, our money, our passion, our friendships, our social capital, and all of that in ways that really do build financial resilience for us and allow us to do what we want to do. So uh, we talk, uh, one thing we talk about is also stacking our interests, and our skills. So let's kind of come up with an example. Let's say you want to do people care. You're really thinking about uh, just in one issue that I know isn't happening around here well, which is child care, right? And so you want to be able to offer child care to people, but maybe it's also to people who can't traditionally afford child care well. Well, that's a problem, right? How do you get paid for offering child care to people who can't pay? It's a great example of a very privileged sort of career uh, that we might want to develop that society just doesn't traditionally value. So we have to be clever about how we do that. So here we can talk about a whole set of uh, investments and stacking for making that work. So one of the first tools that we walk through in the book is stacking. So we could start with that one idea, child care, and then we might want to stack it with the other things we're passionate in, like permaculture. Right, so maybe we can have a child care with a permaculture component. Maybe it can help pay by having some sort of a market garden that also produces food or medicine or something like that. Uh, maybe we want to have that uh, nature-based permaculture education as part of what we're doing, and maybe that can get us some grant funding. Who knows? Um, and uh, 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 maybe, or maybe something like recycling. Maybe we also know that recycling isn't done well in our communities. So maybe we can stack that uh, child care with, com with uh, education or with uh, recycling, get the kids to, uh, as uh, uh, permaculture designer Mark Lakeman has done, get the kids to go around, grab recycling on their bicycles, bring it back, and we can make some value-added products of the recycling stuff and sell that as well. Now we've got stacked income streams and stacked ways to finance our goal of, uh, of offering childcare to people who can't afford childcare. So let's take that further and let's add another tool, investing. 
as we talked about. So we're going to talk about developing transformative investments. These are things that will actually grow in value over time, giving us that additional wealth building capacity that we wouldn't have from, from an income, uh, giving childcare to people who can't afford childcare. So uh, one kind of transformative asset would be generative assets. So if we are uh, talking about developing recycling business, maybe we're talking about figuring out how to make some things out of plastics materials that we're getting from our neighbors or glass, then one generative asset we could invest in would be the durable equipment necessary to transform that stuff into stuff that we can resale and, 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 and give away. So we would invest in that equipment and hopefully we would be making smart investments in equipment that would actually appreciate in value over time. That's what we want to be clever about. We want to make sure that we're making smart investments. And if we're solving a big local community problem, we might be able to, to crowdfund the, uh, the, the funding for it. Or if it's a traditional business, we might be able to get a business loan. So this is a way we can actually get access to other people's money to make investments that are going to grow our personal wealth over time and allow us to make a living doing the work that we want to be doing. Another example of a transformative asset we could invest in would be the real estate associated with it. So we could find a great business or a great location, a storefront, and invest in that. Again, we might be able to access some conventional funding in order to do that. And that and if we do that well, we're adding another thing that's going to grow in value and wealth for us over time to our careers. So we're not just focused on getting jobs, getting income from people. We're making investments in the long term. We could fill that place out and design it to be ideal for this ecological daycare center that we've got. So we can invest in a food forest there. We can invest in a great transformative landscape. All of those things could help generate more income, more wealth over time, long time with plant sales and all that. You can get the kids to help, be education for them and income streams. Now, let's add another one to it. We could look for transformative enterprises themselves can be great transformative investments. So if you figure out this problem, this big problem, getting child care for people in our society who can't afford it, and you solve that problem well, and you figure out how to make a living doing it, other people are going to want to do that too. There's a possibility you could sell that business, successful business to someone else when you're ready to retire, or you might even be able to franchise it to other people, get income from helping other people to also solve this important problem in their own communities. Uh, so the transformative enterprise that you develop itself could be a transformative investment. Another example there uh, are social and political capital. We have examples in the book of people who have built things like mailing lists and strong social networks de of devoted to solving a problem, like uh, getting childcare to people who, who, don't, who can't have access to it, and developed whole organizations uh, and nonprofits that themselves have uh, infrastructure of value, have political capital. It can be a very important form of uh, capital and an investment that can really allow us to build a resilient livelihood for ourselves. And uh, finally, intellectual capital. Again, if you solve this problem well and figure out how to thrive by providing a service that our society isn't providing, there are going to be a lot of people interested in that. You could do a book off of that. You could do online classes off of that. You could do sell your business plan. You have a lot of different opportunities around fix, finding and designing a solution to an important problem. The whole part, point of our book is to be able to pay ourselves to solve these sorts of problems by creating these clever, stacked kinds of uh, incomes that involve investments, that uh, network different problems and different solutions together and different people together in clever ways that solve these problems and build a life that will grow in wealth and abundance for ourselves while we do it.
so that we can build the life of our dreams without losing our souls or destroying the planet. And uh, so that's an example of the kind of thing in our book. You want a full half hour of this sort of talk about livelihoods uh, for people care? Go and check out the other videos, another 20 minutes or so. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.